Have you ever felt like, okay, God, I know you have called me into this, but it's hard. It's just hard. It is so hard, right? I love that the Bible is very transparent, you know? I think that <laughs> in the Bible, we can so often read and recognize ourselves and recognize the emotions that we're feeling, right? So let's read what Jeremiah is saying. He said, you deceived me, Lord, and I was deceived. You overpowered me. I am ridiculed all day long. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I cry out, proclaiming violence and destruction, right? And Jeremiah is just going on and on and on, and he is pouring his heart out to God. And what are we hearing from Jeremiah? He is discouraged. He is depressed. He is deflated. And you know what? At one point, he even curses the day he was born. That's how desperate and angry and frustrated he felt. And sometimes we may feel that way. We may feel like, you know what, God? This is just too hard. I just want to quit. I want to throw in the towel. I am so done. But there are a few things we can learn from Jeremiah. The number one thing that we can learn from him is to consider slowing down and talking to God. You know, sometimes maybe we try to approach this Christianity thing like in a very proper and put together way. We're like, oh, praise you, Lord Jesus. How are you doing? All things are well. You know, I'm alive and praising the Lord. But sometimes, you know, he, you, you can be very honest, not disrespectful, but very honest and say, God, this is hard. God, I feel like quitting. God, I don't know what is happening in my life. God, I need you to strengthen me. I need you to renew me. I need you to restore me. I need you to empower me. God, I need a fresh new anointing because I don't know if I can go one more day. And God can take it. He won't just like rebuke you <laughs> for being honest because even if you come to him in this for a lack of a better word, fake way, right? Just saying like, oh, I praise you, Jesus. Everything is great, you know? Um, he sees what's on your heart. That's what the Bible says. So today, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling totally desperate, if you feel like cursing the day you were born, right? Just consider talking to God and telling him really how you feel. Here's what I felt like God reminded me. Uh, God is fighting for you. God wants to fuel you with a new fire. You know what Jeremiah says after complaining and, you know, speaking his heart out? In verse 11, let's look at it. It says, but the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. Let me encourage you today. After you speak your heart out, know beyond a shadow of doubt that the Lord is with you like a mighty warrior. The Lord is there near you. He is a mighty warrior. He is strong, right? He can come and change your situation. In the midst of it all, Jeremiah slows down, speaks to God, and as he is speaking to God, God is encouraging him. As he's speaking to God, he, as he's complaining, you know, this chapter is actually called Jeremiah's Complaint. <laughs> you know, Jeremiah's Complaint. As he's complaining, God is also, because Jeremiah is allowing himself to go and pour to God, God is also pouring in him. And I believe that this is what God wants to do. As you go and speak to him, I promise you, take time to listen to his heart. Take time to listen to what God wants to tell you, you know, and just um, hear his word. Hear him whispering to you, hey, don't quit. Hear him whispering to you, hey, Come, and I will give you new strength. Hear him whispering to you, hey, I am able to renew your mind, to renew um, all these emotions that you are feeling, and something will, sh will start shifting inside of you. You will start remembering who he is, and um, you will start knowing that you have a mighty warrior fighting next to you, that you are not alone. Amen. So let's pray. 
Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, for every person feeling discouraged, defeated, Heavenly Father. I pray, God, that you who is a mighty warrior would um, help them, Heavenly Father, that you would come and give them exactly what they need in this situation, God. Their situation might not change right away, God, but they will know that they are not alone. They will know that you are there with them. They will know, Heavenly Father, that you are standing there, God, ready to pick them up, ready to encourage them, ready to breathe new life into them, God. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, and we praise you. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen.